give a nice welcome. He's the European Super Bantamweight Champion. Please welcome Willie. <laughs> Thanks, dear friend, each other. Uh... <laughs> when I was actually doing this, uh, when I was actually doing this, I thought it, it would be great for me to stand up there today. I'm actually more comfortable moving around, bouncing and dancing around, throwing punches, you know, but uh, I might give it a go at the end, all right? But the fact that school and commitment and uh, work and dedication and stuff like that, you know, how difficult things life can be at times and everything else, like, you know, and I suppose I'm going to speak a little bit about it, like, you know, He'll, uh, he'll get something from it, like, you know. I just have to move around here just for a second. <laughs> Shake up a bit. Well, I, I suppose, like, I started off um, at a young age. I was, I was going to school. All my older brothers and sisters, like, you know, they all left school very early. My mother and father couldn't read or write. Um, my brothers and sisters could barely, I think, they only went to school for maybe communion, confirmation, and whatever you have. And uh, to this day, I know, I suppose, like, they can barely read and write as well, you know, and so, like, I mean, the challenge I had in life, then I, I was, I was, the challenge I was going to set for myself was I was going to, I wanted to change things. So I want to make a difference with the younger generation coming through. It's, it wasn't easy either, like, you know, I was a member of the traveling community, and plus I had to grow up in a, in a disadvantaged area as well, South Hill, where there was a lot of things happening with drinking, drugs, and gang related incidents and everything else as well, like, you know, so you can imagine life, like, you know, but it's all down to the individual and it's all to itself and how you want to dictate your life, you know, and the commitment you have to put in to, to better yourself. When you look at, like, I mean, I look at the likes of friends and family that I have, my own brother, like, you know, he died from drugs and draw I had numerous friends as well that died from him as well, like, you know, and there was a lot of things involved in it, like, you know, and, and I, I suppose a lot of it was down to like, being, leaving school early, getting involved with wrong different things and stuff like, you know, and not, not having the guidance. As I, I'd like to think that I had great help along the way that there was someone there beside me that I could talk to or, or ask or help on something, because I needed help as well, like, you know, I wanted it, or I wanted to tell them, I wanted to better myself. And especially for younger generation of the travel, traveling community as well, coming through that, uh, like my older brother and sister never really went to school, but they can't read really or write. And therefore, even myself, I went to school, I got, I went, I completed my junior cert. I did good enough, okay, in it, for the seven subjects that we had. And, and draw you know, like, I mean, I, I went down, and from there on, it was kind of like, it was my own, it was my own choice if I wanted to stay on or not. And I, I, I said, I made the decision that I will, I'd stay on, and I kept going on to school. I went into the fifth year. And as I went into fifth year, I was, uh, I was working part-time as uh, washing cars and fixing punchers in a garage. And like, it was coming into the late 90s, like, you know, and I, I, there was a full-time position coming up, coming up for me in the job. And I asked if I left school, would, would the job be there for me? And he said, the, the job is yours if you want it. So, like, I mean, like, I, mean I, I suppose I was looking at the money side of things a bit. You know, you have a full-time wage. And sometimes being younger, there's often temptations out there, like I mean, leaving school early to take work or, or even the legal side of things, you know, getting involved with drugs and things, you think it's all a great thing with money, like, you know, you, cause we all want money, like, you know, we all need to survive on money and whatever you have, like, you know. So there's going to be great temptations in life. And it's always best to, like, I mean, education is the most important one, obviously, like, you know, you don't want them. Let yourself go out down the long road and put your, yourself and your family and all your other members in that spot of bother and either. But anyway, I let me go back there and I'm jumping now again. I, I, left, I, I took the job anyway, I took the job because there was a full time job there for me, and as I said, there was, there was money involved. It wasn't great money at the time, but it was money, like, you know, and, was, and that's all I was looking at was the money side of things, like, you know, I had a full time job. And then I, I left that job, I left it about 12 months and I was out of work for a little while and all this time I was always thinking about I should have completed my leave and stuff and everything else, like, you know, maybe went on to college maybe. But things looked up for me, you know, I, I started looking for an apprenticeship, an apprenticeship as a carpenter. I always wanted to be a carpenter. But the times, times happened, I, I didn't get a carpentry job, I got a welding job. 
which is similar, you're going to have to, there's going to be times in life you're going to have to adapt. You know, you're going to have to want one thing and you'll get another thing and you're going to have to adapt to it and everything else. Like, you know, I adapted to the welding. I, I, I played there for five, six years and I can make, now to this day you now I can, I can make anything, weld anything and do it, any, make anything, whatever it is I can make it, like, you know, in terms of welding and construction stuff. The only thing that I don't have is a piece of paper saying that I'm qualified, that I'm a qualified welder. I, I never went through college, I never went, I never went through fast, to, 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 I just served my time in, in, in commitment. It was, and the way I was looking at things, it was a full-time job for me, and there was good money involved, so that, that, that's the way I was thinking of it. And I wasn't thinking about the longer, the longer run of it, like, you know, when, when you get older, when you're younger, and you, when, you get young, when you're younger, you should, you should commit yourself to school, college, whatever, and, and, and that way then when you get older, like, I mean, I, I met a woman today, she's 53, she went back to college when she was 53. They say you're never too old, but things are a lot easier when you're younger, when you, you know, to make that commitment, and, and, and it gets stronger as you go along in life, you know, in terms of problems and difficulties and stuff like, you know, you could, you, you'll um, get stronger in life as you go along. I'm jumping the queue now again, I want to go back now again a little bit to where I was, I, with the full-time job and the wealth and everything else. And it was all good. And there was, there was no, I wasn't thinking about anything because I was working, I was getting a job, I, I sat down at a young age. I, I was married, young kids, and everything else was coming in through. So, like, I mean, the only thing for me was work and money and everything else. And all of a sudden, then, at the end of it, like, my work went dried up. Just work went dried up and sort of, like, I mean, I was left again with no job and I'm looking for other jobs and, and uh, I'm not qualified to do this job because of, because I never got a qualification in leaving sort of whatever or in college or whatever. So now I'm left. I'm back doing a bit of training in in, in boxing, which I always love sports and stuff. So I, um, boxing, like I did hurling, football, rugby, I did it all. And, and boxing seemed to be a thing that I, that, I, that I had some little bit of success in. So I, I started to commit myself to box to the boxing side of things, and then I got asked to work professional. And then I, I was looking at that, I was, I was thinking that um, it could get, it, it, I, could, I could benefit from it, and not only could I benefit from it, I might change the younger generation coming through as well, when you come from South Hill, and with, like, I mean, in terms of when you're, when you're a member of the traveling community and stuff like, you know, that these people don't get many chances in life, like, and, and so, like, I mean, I said I'd make, I'd go professional, I'd, I'd make that commitment to it, and hopefully, the younger generation coming through will, will, will see it uh, and, and, and see if he can make it, why can't I make it, you know, and that's right. I, I'd like to thank her anyway, you know, that's, that's the, the, the advice I, I would be giving to the younger generation. But as you all know, and I, most of you know, and I, um, that boxing took off, it, it took off really good, you know, we, we became a European champion, we, uh, two time European champion, fought for a world title. Everything was going great along the way, and all of a sudden, everything just went stopped again. Like, you know, my last fight, I was beaten in it, and it was a year and a half before that, before I had another fight again. And, like, the, 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 there was a, what's called, it was really, like, I mean, now I'm looking at going back into the line of work now again, and I'm looking at, I can't, go, the, the, the type of work that I want to do, I need a, a, a specific qualification for it, and that's going to, that's going to be involved me going back to college or to get this commitment to, and involve working with young lads or whatever, like coming through and all that stuff and everything else. So I'd like to think, like, I mean, the commitment I put into boxing is like yourselves with, with the exams, you, you've uh, test, and, and pressure as well. You've all pressure. We have, I had pressure, you said pressure, it could be parents' pressure, it could be teachers' pressure, exam pressure, studying pressure. And it's the same when I'm getting ready for a fight, there's always pressure. Am I going to win? Am I, am I going to... Am I, I have to train hard enough. And don't, we can make things easier on ourselves. In terms of, like, you know, we can eat the right foods, you know, we can... Plenty of rest, you know what I mean? You, you, very important, plenty of rest and everything else. And, as I said, you know, you, you commit yourself to something, you know. Here's my man coming on to uh, the watch party. You know, I, I just think, look, whatever in life, you know, there's always going to be challenges in life, and you know, there's always going to be difficulties and everything else. But, uh, uh, like, I mean, you don't ever, nothing ever comes in life. Not, no, you don't ever get success in life 
with, a, with a commitment and dedication and, and committing yourself to something, like, you know, and, and it's the same with your education and stuff like that, like, you know, you, you won't ever get it unless you put your whatever into it and put the more time into it and everything else. So I just hope, like, you know, whatever you listen to today, well, you'll have some bit of a acknowledgement that when you uh, make decisions for yourselves and hope it'll make it a little bit easier for yourselves and everything else. And I wish you all the best in the future, okay? <laughs> Pause, Willie!